Hello everyone, my name is Margaret and today I will be doing a brief tutorial about how to use Photopad picture editing software. This software is free and it is great to use in the classroom um, for teaching purposes. Uh, it's also great to use as a student for giving a presentation. Um, it's important to make material, material your own uh, when you're in the classroom. So being able to edit photos is a great way to um, show your work and it's also great to use in your own portfolio if you are looking to demonstrate what you are able to do. So first you're going to want to download the free application by going to nchsoftware.com. I'm using a Mac which I've already downloaded it but if you um, had not already downloaded it you would just hit download and that will prompt you through the downloading process. Um, it is also available for Windows. I've noticed that it does work a little bit better with Windows, but that's okay. I wanted to try it on both Windows and Mac. So once you have that downloaded, you can open up the PhotoPad software. And here it's going to give me the option to um, open a file to edit. So I'm going to go ahead and open um, the picture that I would like. Okay, so now that we clicked on that, we have a photo here that we can edit. You can see along the top here, you have a lot of different options, which can be overwhelming for some, um, but luckily I, I think this is actually pretty user friendly. Someone who hasn't done much editing on pictures, it's really just a matter of trial and error and um, clicking around and seeing what different, what the different buttons do to change colors and and um, and edit the picture. So you can see here I clicked on color so I can edit the brightness. If I'd like the picture a little bit brighter I could do that which that didn't seem to make much of a difference but I do like it. Oh there we go. So it looks like that's a little bit too bright. How about that? That's perfect. So you can see here that you're able to reset if you don't like the brightness so you can go back to normal um, but I'm going to bring that back up around to where it was okay so after that um, we can change the contrast and again those things will change once you actually move this little icon so if there is anything on here that you don't necessarily end up liking or you want to go back and go to the original photo, you can click original image, which is really cool, and that'll show you the original copy of the photo. Um, or if I don't like the contrast, I can just hit that X there and that takes away what I did with the contrast. So let's go to hue and see what this does. Um, looks like there's some arrows here. Okay, just changes the color it looks like. So that is a little odd, but again, you can you know, if you go somewhere that you don't necessarily like on here, you're able to hit reset, even though that is kind of cool. So we'll leave it there. Um, so you can also see there's filters here that are put together, which if you're familiar with other applications like Instagram, um, similar concept as well. These are filters that you're able to do on your own, but they do have these pre-made filters, um, which again makes it pretty user friendly. So kind of click through on the filters and see how they look. And it looks like I'm adding all of the filters, so I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to simply hit the X's here and bring it back to what I like. Um, this is kind of cool. You can make the picture gray or you can do sepia. I'm going to remove the gray. Now we have effects as well. We can sharpen the picture if it's blurry. Um, so let's drag that. Interesting, it almost makes it look like a newspaper. Okay. So as you can see up here, you've got um, a lot of different tools that you can use. Um, you can also put text on the picture, which is pretty cool. 
Um, if this was something that you were using during a presentation or putting in a PowerPoint, you can, you know, add text onto the picture. Um, I'm going to get rid of that. I don't want a text on there. Let's see. We can retouch the picture if there's if you see any red eye. Looks like I took a lot of that color out. Um, so there's really no red eye. Let's see. Cool. So you can turn it into cartoon. You can also, oh, interesting, make it a brick. Um, oil paint, that's kind of interesting as well. So you can see here, there's a lot of different things you can do. And like I said, it's a, just a matter of clicking around and seeing what you like. And I think after using this, you will be more familiar with how to edit pictures and what different um, words mean, like sepia and grayscale. You'll kind of figure out what those things do so when you use other applications, those things will make sense. Um, so now I like this. This will be my final copy. I'm going to go ahead and save this. It looks like through Mac, this was different on my Windows laptop, but we can just simply hit save. We'll save high quality. Great, and it looks like it has my picture down here. So I'm able to retrieve that easily. All right, so I just gave some directions, a quick tutorial about how to use PhotoPad photo imaging software, and hopefully this can um, help anyone who is watching and listening. Um, hopefully that can help you better customize presentations um, in an educational setting and, and create a, um, a better portfolio. All right, thank you.